what's going on guys good morning welcome to the video and today i'm going to be showing the things which i do each and every day to make sure that i'm as confident and motivated for the day and actually i prefer that all guys do this and if you're ready let's get started all right number one morning momentum the first few actions that you take in the start of the day are going to detect how you feel throughout the day and if you mess this up you're going to risk being sluggish throughout the day and these are the main things which i do in the morning to keep me motivated and more active and more productive for the day and that is hydration i always have this bottle of water next to me that when i wake up in the morning i just have to drink almost all of it or even all of it if i can for that day and that is because each and every night we fast for eight hours if you get eight hours of sleep that is for eight hours you don't drink any type of liquid and for me i take it as the body has been shut down and the moment I drink this water is like how the car works, how the gears works, how the when you sit on the car the fuels have to move around the car, keep the engine running and, and make it lubricated for everything to work. That's the same I take it as this. I drink one liter of water each and every morning before I do anything else. That's when to wake up my body system that okay we're fucking up now you have to work. But the moment I do this it actually makes me more mindful of my hydration throughout the day. And second, I make sure that I go outside to get sun exposure into my eyes. Because let's be honest, most of the guys out there are used to going out to the cars, then the office, then or school, don't really get that proper sun exposure. And, and when you go out, you always wear sunglasses. If you want to go for a walk, when you do this, go for a walk, but always get it sun exposure through your eyes. And I usually like doing this at the same time, drinking water, getting some sun exposure today. And next I get a cold shower. Oh, so cold, showers are amazing because they help you get pumped up for the day and energized for the day. And also keep you in this bristly mindset that you can go out there and challenge that uncomfortable decision that you have going on. Whether it's talking to that cute girl over there or, or confronting your boss over there. Either way, cold showers are the god. And that is why I recommend that every guy gets in there in the North Pole that is in your bathroom. And now number two is the smelly three. Now, listen to this. It's important to go to the gym. It's important to work on your fashion. It's important to work on your body. But even if you're the most attractive guy out there, but if you smell terrible, there's no girl will be attracted to you and there's be no one, no guy, even dogs coming close to you to be, just be around you because the way you smell. And that is why I recommend that you do these three things each and every day. Shower, put on some deodorant, and put on some cologne, invest in some good cologne. Now, if you do those first two things, I'll assure you that you'll be smelling good and people you want to be around you. But if you don't do the third thing, the cologne, you just walk around and you just smell like each and every other guy out there. But the moment that you invest in good cologne, people just know, okay, now this is Ryan coming here right now. To tell you, just invest in some good cologne. And just like that, it doesn't really need to be overpowering or make a statement about yourself. You just need to be smelling good when you go out there, greet someone, someone says that, okay, this guy smells good. When you go out there, meet this cute girl out there, go in for the handshake or for the hug, whichever you may go for. But just know that she will say that you smell really nice. <laughs> always a great day when it's leg day and workout complete which brings me to topic number three challenge yourself you have to realize that the thing which hinders us from growing and reaching our potential is that we get too comfortable in our situations and the thing with human beings you always see comfortable situations which actually it's a contradicting situation where we have to be uncomfortable in order to level up but as we seek to be comfortable which is why i recommend that each and every day that you put yourself in uncomfortable situations where it helps you grow as a person because that's when you'll grow as a person. Like right now what I'm doing is actually pretty difficult for me because I'm actually filming in public and I'm so used to filming in the gym and uh, at home. Now this is a new comfort zone for me because I'm actually scared right now because there's a, there's a woman with the children back there. <sighs> I'm actually, heart is pounding, but what else to do but just, just to do it. And uh, yeah, whatever it is to you, 
whether it's recording certain YouTube, certain YouTube channel or just uh, sh editing videos, shooting videos, talking to a certain girl right there, just make sure you do it and get out of co your comfort zone because that is what will kill you in the, wrong, in the long run. And uh, yeah, let me now go because I'm actually feeling pretty, pretty nervous. But still, I did it for today. That's challenge, challenge completed for today. Yeah. Now, the fourth thing which I make sure that I do each and every single day is stop the negative voices. Here's what I mean. Each one of us has this evil little man who sits on our shoulder. They just talk shit to us each and every single day. And that is anxiety. Like, for example, I'm going to use myself. Like the last clip, which I've just talked about back there, about speaking in public. I've spent three to five minutes in the car, just sitting, hearing this negative voice in my head, telling me that, nah, you can't talk in public, you're too afraid. What if they judge you? What if I've said three to five minutes in the car, just sitting like that, just thinking. And it's raining right now. And uh, yeah, now that was my anxiety talking, but at the very least, I made sure that I took action over it. Now, what I want you to do when you get into this situation is that make sure that you are aware that this voice is talking to you. The moment that voice talks to you, just make sure that you are aware of it that it's talking to you. After that, take a deep breath, let it go, then take action. Like I've said, I was in the car for three to five minutes just talking shit about myself. Like I can't do it. But the moment I just say, ah, fuck it. Open the door, started talking, started talking, started talking. And that's when all the anxiety went away and I did what I was supposed to do. That day and I, just like that, today I've faced my challenge and I've leveled up because I didn't listen to that negative voice. Well, I did listen to it, but I, but I ignored it and took, did the opposite of it. So next time, do the opposite of that negative voice and just take action. Now, the last thing which I do is that I make sure to have mindful thinking at the end of the day. That one moment, I know most people don't really like meditating because it sounds boring and uh, it actually takes a lot of time just sitting there and doing nothing. What I want you to do, just take one minute of your time, just one minute. Find a secluded place where it's quiet and just think to yourself, how was the day? All the, do, all the good things that, that you've done during the day. And the moment you do this, if you did something good, you just tell yourself that, okay, I'm not, I'm not a complete loser. I did this today. And, and you actually give yourself a pat on the back and say that I'm not a complete loser today. If there's something that you need to work on that you've done, that you've done today and, and, and have not really done to perfection, you just tell yourself, Okay, today I didn't do this, I'll work on this next time. The next time that I get myself into that situation, I'll make sure that I do this better than what I did before. And just like that, you'll have the mindful thinking to evaluate yourself and gauge yourself of what you've done during the day. And with that, I hope that makes sense. If made it the end of this video, I appreciate you, bro, as always. And if you're new to the channel, what's up, bro? Welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button because it actually helps the channel a lot to reach more people out there. And without, I'll see you in my next coming video. And if I don't, I'll be mad, bro. <laughs>